day everyone, especially to you Sir Malang. I am Mark Janes Oralia from Barangay Crossing San Isidro Leyte, a third year student of Leyte Normal University under Franchising Center. Before I discuss my franchise agreement, let me explain first what is franchise agreement. Um, franchise agreement is the legal or written contract between the franchisor and the franchisee which tells party what they agreed about or what they need to do. Here's my franchise agreement. The first part of my franchise agreement is the franchise agreement number. This number should be unique to identify the difference to the other franchise agreement. For example, if you have thousands of franchise agreement, it's difficult for you to trace to trace up if you don't have this number, this unique number. And below and below the franchise agreement number is the date. Date. This is the date when the franchise agreement was made. The next one is between and and this is where the franchisor and the franchisee should be written. Let's proceed to recitals. The first paragraph, um, it introduces the side of the franchisor about what they developed and offered. And other services operation using the system of the, of the franchisor. The next paragraph in this statement, it reminds that the trademark, logos, and other thing that described in this agreement is owned by the franchisor. And the third statement, it also reminds that the franchisor is the exclusive owner of what the franchisee acknowledged. And the fourth statement, it says that the franchise should value the system and the marks and don't do anything that will damage the, na the name of the franchisor. Let's go to the fifth statement. It says that the franchisee should value and maintain the, de the system of the franchisor, like the appearance, image products, services, cost customer relations, and other. And the sixth statement, it, in this statement, reminds the franchisee that to be aware of the risk because in in a business risk sometimes will be will become your partner so the franchisees should be aware of that and the last statement it means that the franchisor and the franchisee has now a mutual agreement about the other good and the valuable consideration and they are now legally bounded. Below the page, you can see the franchisor and the franchisee signatures. Each pages of franchise agreement should have the signature of the franchisor and the franchisee in order to know that they agreed each other. Let's proceed to Article 1, License and System. In 1.1, Grant of License, in this statement, the franchisor grants the franchisee a non-exclusive a non-exclusive license to operate one office using the system and marks for a period of five years from from and after the effective date of this agreement. It means that the franchisee can operate one one or more offices as long as the franchisee can afford. It also states here the agreement shall terminate if franchisee does not obtain an acceptable lease at an approved location at least 90 days before expiration of franchisee's lease. The next is 1.02 Location and Territory. It states here the franchisee's office shall be the only office to operate within the geographical territory described. Because if there are two or more offices inside the geographical territory, the customer will divide it and it will cause low profitability. 
Next is 1.03 license business. It also states here that the franchisee will provide these services to both residential and commercial buildings operating under the marks and using the system. The next one is 1.04 system and marks. It states here that franchisor owns all right to the system and marks and franchisee has only such rights as this agreement grants. So it states the system and marks of the franchisor like the franchisor's name, formulas, training, methods of operation, reputation, advertising, system, and similar benefits. Let's proceed to Article 2, Franchise Fees and Advertising. In 2.01, Initial Fee, it states here how much the initial fee of the franchisor. In 2.02, Royalties Statement, it shows the amount of royal how much the royalties should the franchisee pay article 3 reports and audit in 3.1 records and reports franchisee shall at all times maintain true and accurate business records in the manner specified by franchisor it also states here that franchisee shall retain all business records for at least five years or such longer period of time as may be required by applicable law. Let's go to the Article 4, Training, meaning the franchisee or the franchisee designated manager should have initial training in order to know the system and uh, everything about the franchisor. Let's proceed to 4.02, Manager Training. In this statement, indicates that any new manager shall successfully complete franchisor's manager training program within 60 days after assuming the role of manager. So let's proceed to 4.03 employee training. So all employees should be undergo the franchisor training program. 4.04 training materials. So the franchisee agrees to require all of its managers and employees as applicable to successfully complete any such training programs. If franchisor designate them in 4.05, so this is not a guarantee that if you successfully or, or you complete the training, you are successfully successful to the business. Let's move on to Article 5, Trade secrets and confidentiality so this is the secrets of the franchisor's side that the franchisee should not publicly expose this include the system the manual formulas methods customer lists and related information vendor and pricing list and policies the training and other program techniques and policies in article 6 operation of license business Partici personal first participation so the franchisee should give his time to the business because it, it is also his business or his or her business not for the franchisor but also the franchisee 6.03 retail prices this means that only franchisors can change the price and make the price. In 6.4, compliance with law. So the franchisee should obtain and maintain all the requirements, permits, and license, including licensing, licensing, health, safety, environmental, consumer, and labor regulations, franchisee business operation. So the franchisees should know and understand what the system of franchisor is. 6.05.1 It states here that franchisees should protect and enhance franchisor's image. In 6.6, the restrictions on source of products and services. 
specification this is the things that franchisees should purchase in order to operate the license business so the franchisee may purchase them from the vendor of franchises choice but the item must meet franchises specifications this agreement has been executed on the date set forth here in two copies of which the parties have taken one each the last part is the signature of the franchisor and the franchisee that's all These are the 11 key steps in opening a franchise. Number 1. Self-evaluation Self-evaluation it is um, asking yourself a few important questions. Could you that, um, that decide whether you are best fit for the entrepreneurial endeavors and becoming a franchisee? It also examine yourself if you are ready to handle a business or how you operate it because when you start it, it's no turning back so you should be committed. Number two, pick a franchise consultant to assist you. These steps is optional because there are some franchisees are knowledgeable enough or um, knowledgeable about franchisee but some others are need a franchisee consultant in order to assist about franchisee so this is an optional situation or this steps is optional and number three is the research in research you should in, um, in investing and buying a franchise is not easy so you should make a uh, research and gather in information such as in industry trends, market size, um, franchise or reputation, and cost of running and starting the business. Number four, attend a discovery day. In these steps, the franchisee should attend a deep meeting with a franchisor where the franchisees can ask an information or important questions about the franchisee systems. The franchisee can also visit the franchisor's corporate headquarters and others so that he can know how the, the structures of, the, of their building and their, and their costume. Number five, speak to other franchisees. The franchisee should speak or communicate to, uh, to each other, um, to each other to, or to other franchisees to gain some, to gain some data and information about the business. Because you are in the same boat, meaning you have the same business or company, so you should help each other in order to succeed. Number six, find a suitable location should also gather information about the best location find a suitable location for your business like you should analyze the area about the potential customer demographics and considering where competitors are located number seven choose a franchise and secure funding after you finish your evaluations and research about the franchise you should secure and have a sufficient funding until the opening of the business in order to avoid shortage of capital and other resources. Number eight, sign the agreement. After securing the agreement, after the securing of the funding and finish the research, Signing the agreement is the next steps. If you are interested and willingly to franchise that business, you should sign the agreement. But in signing the agreement, you should read and understand carefully all the data or the content inside the agreement or else you can hire a lawyer if needed. Number 9. Obtain all necessary permits and 
insurance. In every cities and municipalities, getting a permit and insurance is required. If you're planning a business, you should you should get a permit and insurance. Because without permits, your business will become or will be illegal and against the law. So you should obtain all the permits and insurance which is also vital to the business. Number 10. Hire, and, hire staff and attend training. Before opening your business, you should hire first all staff and other employees who will operate your business. Make sure that the staff you hire is knowledgeable, skillful, and responsible enough that willing that will definitely fit to the position he or she applied. When you complete your staff and employees, let them attend the franchisor's training program, where the franchisor will take care of all it. Will take care of all of it. Eleven. Open your franchise business. When you finish the building, getting off. Getting all the permits and, you, and your staff and employees are all ready. All are all ready. You can now open your franchise business. You should expect many customers will go to your business, especially when your franchise is a well-known business. That's all. Thank you.